there everyone it's mrs drake with the flute and i hope you've already warmed up on your scales got yourself warmed up and this video is for book two lesson one book two lesson one so if you haven't already done so please write your name your first name and last name with sharpie on your new book and let's take a look at lesson one okay lesson one has a new rhythm um it's called an eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes and you notice it's written there and my nickname for it is grasshopper grasshopper Another nickname could be tea ticka, but I prefer grasshopper. Okay, so the deal with this is, please notice the double beam. Those are called 16th notes. The single beam is an eighth note. Um, okay, so let's look at song number one. So with this new rhythm, you got to think of a mathematical strategy. Ta, um, TT is of course the double speed of ta, ta, and hopper has to be twice as fast as TT. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that mathematical relationship. So first I'm gonna do some ta's. Ta, 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 ta. TT would have to be T, 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 T. And hopper, 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 hopper. Please realize hopper has to be twice as fast as TT. And of course, TT has to be twice as fast as ta, ta mathematical relationship. So what I'd like to do first on number one, everybody look at number one. Do you notice that it's just a bunch of Fs? So on number one, I'm not going to bother playing it on my flute. On number one, I'm going to say the nicknames. I'm going to say the nicknames. So what I would like you to do is look at number one and maybe the first time through just listen to me say it, but then rewind the video and maybe try to say it with me or you could rewind the video um, and while I say the nicknames, you play the Fs on your flute. So, like I said, mathematical relationships. So the first measure is going to be T, T, Ta. The second measure is Grass, Hopper, Ta. So I'm going to say all of number one. One, two, ready, go. T, T, Ta. Grass, Hopper, Ta. Grass, Hopper, T, T. Grass, Hopper, Ta. T, T, Ta. Grass, Hopper, Ta. Grass, Hopper, T, T. T, grasshopper ta. All right, so that was number one. Okay, take a look at number two. Now number two uses the B flat E flat key signature. It, it uh, changes different notes. Um, number two, so once again, look at the grasshoppers compared to the TTs. The speed of number two that I'm gonna go is grasshopper TT, grasshopper TT. That'll be the speed of number two. Okay, so like I said, I hope you've already warmed up on your scales. Number two, first time through, you might want to just listen to me play it. Maybe just put the head joint on your shoulder and just move your fingers and see if you can keep up with me. Um, uh, and then maybe rewind the video and try to play it along with me. Okay, everybody warm up the first measure of number two. Okay, here goes number two. One, two, ready, go. So like I said, the first time through when I play these songs, you might just want to move your fingers with me, just listen to me play it. Um, maybe turn off the video, practice it at a slower speed. But the goal is for you to eventually be able to play it with me. Okay, but let's take a look at number three. Please notice the key signature on number three is the three different three flats. And when there's three flats, realize, of course, that it's B flat, E flat, and A flat. So you got to know your own mind. Are you good at remembering stuff or should you grab a pencil and write in some reminders? So on my book, I circled the key signature. And on my book, the first A comes at the end of the second measure here. Notice I drew a flat sign. That is to remind me to play A flat. You got to know your own self. Are you good at remembering? And if you feel like you maybe need reminders, have that pencil and write things in your music. Okay, so song number three. Grass, hopper, grass, hopper, grass, hopper, ta. That's the speed I'm going to go. Again, the first times you might want to just listen to me play it. Um, everybody warm up the beginning of number three. Okay, here goes number three. One, two, ready, go. All right. 
right, number four, um, B-flat, E-flat, key signature. And now notice that in the grasshopper, they changed to different notes. Grass, um, the very first measure, grass is a B-flat, and then the hopper is on C's. So it makes it more challenging. Okay, song four, warm up the beginning. Song four. One, two, ready, go. whole page I notice that there are no rests in this entire page there are no rests so I want to remind you of the habit cut one of the notes short grab a breath whenever you feel like you need a breath make one of the notes shorter grab yourself a breath um, or leave a note off completely and take a breath instead of playing that note okay song five okay so song five only has one flat in the key signature B flat that means the A's have to be played as A natural. This is the finger position for A natural right there. Yep, yep. Everybody warm up at A natural. Song number five. The very first note is low F. We've maybe not played a low F yet on this page. We haven't played a low F in a while. Same regular finger position, but blow gentle. Everybody warm up a low F. So the first measure... Everybody warm up the first measure of number five. Okay. One, two, ready, go. low one okay song six b flat e flat key signature yep okay and i'm noticing that there's an e natural in measure four please look ahead to measure four do you see that they indicated that they want that e to be e natural and when they change it from a key signature it's called an accidental even though they did it on purpose it's called an accidental so right there there's an e natural accidental over here they remind you they put the e flat um, the flat in parentheses to remind you to return to E flat. Um, so that's why they put it in parentheses. It's just a reminder. Okay, song number six. Song number six, I'm going to go T, 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 grasshopper T, T. Everybody warm up the beginning of number six. <laughs> All right, here we go on number six. One. Two, ready, go. melody that's a nice melody okay number seven is called the night departs as I look through this one I see it has a bunch of slurs I notice that it has just the B flat key signature so that means the E's have to be E natural sometimes I think of it as F plus one so you got to know yourself do you think you can trust yourself to remember to play all the E's as E natural feel free to draw the natural sign to write yourself a reminder or circle them or highlight them uh, I notice it also goes up to high C. There's some high C's starting on measure 5. There's some high C's. And it's okay with me if you don't remember that that's a high C. You can write the letter C on the first one. I prefer that you don't write the letter C on all of them, meaning you got to train yourself to recognize that that is a C. But it's okay if you write the letter C on the first one. Okay, um, so uh, this one is challenging. I am going to do the slurs. The first time through it, you might want to leave the slurs off. 
if you leave off the slurs, it does make it easier. Now, eventually, I expect you to get them, but um, on the night departs, you might want to leave off the slurs when you're first playing it. Um, and of course, the first time through, since this one's hard, you might want to just lay your flute on your shoulder and just move your fingers while I play it. Remember, E naturals, A naturals on this one. Okay, let's everybody warm up the first measure. Alrighty, the night departs. One, two, ready, go. Alrighty, that was lesson one.